What is up YouTube and welcome to this Cobra Kai season four video. We will be talking about what is coming up this season and where they could be going next in the Kung Fu franchise, which has taken the world by storm. I will also be positing some theories as well. Now, while season three was filmed way ahead of COVID, season four has been written, but not yet filmed. And according to the man behind the show, John Hurwitz, he says that season four should be filming at the start of this year and will be coming out roughly a year after season three. So we're looking at about a January 2022 release date, which, my God, that is far too way away there for me. But the big cliffhanger of the season was how Kreese bet his dojo on the outcome of the All Valley Tournament after a vicious final battle at the Cobra Kai Dojo. We were left hanging after a season of flashback to Kreese's life in the military and his life before that, as well as teaming up with Terry Silver in Vietnam. Of course, Terry Silver was the villain of Karate Kid 3, who had his a nuclear waste kind of corporation and was mega, mega rich. He helped Kreese try to exact revenge on Daniel and Mr. Miyagi for what happened in the first movie, only for them both to have egg on their face when the credits rolled. Now, John Hurwitz had this to say about the prospect of who is on the other end of that phone. He says, at the end of the season, you saw Kreese make a phone call. You could guess he must have been on the other end of that call based on the photo that he was looking at there. But we can't really speak to how Terry Silver would respond to that call or whoever was on the other end of the line would respond to that call. I think you'll have to see if that character returns in season four. Now, it is quite clear to me that Terry Silver was on the other end of that phone call. And will he have his ascot? Will he have his money and his fancy cars? Yes, I do think that he will actually be as he was at the end of Karate Kid 3. Because we've already kind of had the all the money taken away story done in Karate Kid 3. And I would like to see him come back as the villainous absolute douchebag. Kreese returned and he was very much a sympathetic character there as he was kind of trying to make amends, but he wormed his way in. But I'd like to see a villain come in who has everything. He is the absolute epitome of evil, power and money. But the question is, will the villainous Mike Barnes, the psycho nega version of Johnny Lawrence return? Well, it's still possible he could have called Mike Barnes, but... No, I don't think that would have actually happened, but I do think that Mike Barnes will return in some way, as he would also want revenge. And many of you commented saying that Mike Barnes could be the father of Tori or Miguel, which is a very interesting theory, which I might break down in another video. Out of the two, possibly more Miguel, as Karma did say that Miguel's father was a bad, bad man. And no, I'm not talking about John Cena, but it is clear that Terry Silver is on the other end of the phone, as in Vietnam, Terry did say that he owes him, and I think that saving his life uh, gives him a bit more of a credit there with Terry to get some help. Now, I do think that Mike will return as a double whammy to train the Cobra Kai kids in how to just be totally awful now one return which could happen is the return of aisha she's a fan favorite and she had some of the best growth over the two seasons going from a meek shy girl into a self-assured badass however she was notably missing from this season but as we learned her parents sent her to private school after the big huge school fight last season so her bully returned in season three showing that people can return and Josh Held, one of the people behind the show, said this about the characters returning. So I'll say nobody ever leaves the show for good in our minds. And there is always a strategy and a reason story wise for why they come in and out. And it serves the long story that we are telling. Now, he also said how they brought back characters this season and having too big of a cast was the 
really breaking the stories by having to check in on them and such. So it makes sense she wasn't included this season, but it's more than likely she will return next season. Sadly, it's unlikely that Chosen and Kumiko will return for the upcoming season, as they're reported to be simply cameos in Daniel's introspective journey visit to Okinawa. I would have liked to have more of a deep dive into just what Daniel wasn't taught, however, but it would be interesting there to see Chosen return and come to the US. Now, we know that he has a karate school over in Okinawa, so why not have some of his kids come over as some kind of like transfer student story, and we can get a bit more representation in this show, which I would admit is sorely lacking, but I don't really mind that because I'm really enjoying the show. But I think having that would be a really nice thing and seeing the cultures clash would be a great thing to see. Now, moving forward as well in the story, we do have seasons worth of story, apparently, that the show's creators want to tell. And they have an end game of where the story will end and they want to end it. But they also have seasons of story to tell first to actually get there. However, that end game, well, seasons four story will focus heavily on Robbie and his fall to the dark side of going full Cobra Kai. Miguel was saved from that world, but the rivals in Cobra Kai are, of course, Miguel and Robbie. The theme of the past reliving itself and breaking out of the cycle of revenge that has taken Johnny and Daniel a while to get through. It will be interesting to see Johnny try and save Robbie from this same fate. Lineage and family are a big thing in the show, and it will be cool to finally learn some more about Tori and Miguel's parents, like I said earlier in the video. But Chris's story is clearly not over, at least his backstory, as I do not think what his captain told him was the full story when it comes to his girlfriend simply being dead. I think that she definitely had a child at some point, and Chris never knew due to the captain hiding the information as he wanted his head in the game there, and was a controlling D-bag from the off. This would be a season-long mystery, or even more, and I really hope that the flashbacks return this season so we see how Kreese became the two-time back-to-back army karate champion, leading him to go on to create the Cobra Kai Dojo with Terry Silver. This is why I think we could see Terry Silver and why he will be impactful as we see a redemption story for Kreese, as there is a reason we see him as a bullied busboy at the start, and with him finally redeeming himself, with John Hurwitz actually mentioning in an interview that they wanted him to have a sympathetic character. They wanted him to have the usual story of a, of a karate kid pupil as being someone who was down on his luck and being an underdog. And I can see that we actually have Terry Silver move forward and move into Creasy's place of being the real villain of the season and I think that'd be a really interesting thing and I would love it if he was the one putting the strings from behind this whole time but that is it for this video so let me know what you think down in the comments do drop a like please do subscribe with notifications on and like I said let me know what you think and what videos you want me to break out of this one as well and I'll see you soon and goodbye